we had once seen the great Homer, blind he was by then, but able to recite his verse. I remember him sitting on that old armchair that he made look like a throne by being there, his hands resting on the top of his cane. He had the memory of a fullness. As he recited, to my surprise, not in Demotic Greek, but in Spanish with an Argentine accent. I didn't care for his politics, but he was in no doubt a great writer, and I owed him much. I told him I'd also seen that recitation on BBC TV. A grainy black and white memory out of place here by this shining interior sea, still brilliant in the setting sun, as in the distance the ferry drew even closer across the water. I gave him two euro coins. He looked at them in the palm of his hand for a moment. Maybe it wasn't Homer, he said. I don't always remember things correctly these days. She looks as French as Nefertiti. Her nose stub is the morning star. Her nose a scimitar. She leans against the bar, feeding something to a hungry jukebox. North African rye and Serge Gainsbourg's reggae version of La Marseillaise, now stripped of blood and guillotine by its Afro-Caribbean beat. She looks as French as Juliette Greco, a hand of Fatima, or is it a hand of Miriam, around her neck. Her mouth, a last El Hamnud kiss. The white Nile runs through her centre. Outside the bar, the mistral blows south. Silvery leaves rustle in the olive trees, and the wind speaks Okitan. She could be the lady of whom the troubadours sang, if not for the gitan that hangs from her bottom lip. West, across the Levant, the Hamzine scorpion wind blows west, whipping up dust devils like gin, released from bottles where Suleiman the Wise imprisoned them. Perno, Suze, Kia Royale, signs that tell you you're still in France. You need convincing in this Harris red heat of summer. She looks as French as Nefertiti, the African plate slides beneath her Aegean, and in the calypso deep Ionian profundity of a damson lily, arm and eye of gaze, you feel the tides of Fargo and Flamenco, Sephardic romances and Sufi poems, and the intermittent signal of Radio Tarifa. The Albanian merchant greets every Greek or Turk or Italian or Spanish customer with one race, one face. And the woman at the bar is as French as Nefertiti, with her blue-black hood of hair and her Cleopatra bomb. And everyone here is as Greek as every Italian, as Arab as every Jew, as Moroccan as every Frenchman, carried by the same currents that drove Ulysses through the twelve houses of the Zodiac losing ships and men at every sign, while Penelope unpicked her lunar tapestry. Carried by the same currents as Marius in his sea fever from the fictional version of this very port, where once a year the gypsies carry the statue of Kali Maria, Black Maria of the Languedoc, of whom some say is the daughter of Miriam of Magdala. And everyone here is as Greek as every Italian, as Arab as every Jew, as Moroccan as every Spaniard. And the Albanian greets them all with one race, one face, one race, one face, one race, one face, mare nostrum, noestrumere, our sea.